A new federal rule governing ghost guns took effect today. For the first time, the kits which allow people to assemble homemade firearms must include serial numbers and mandate background checks for people buying the guns. WCCO's Reg Chapman has more on how law enforcement hopes that the new law stopped the recent surge of gun violence. U.S. Attorney Andy Lugar sounded the alarm last week. It's a new day when it comes to ghost guns. A new federal regulation about ghost guns is targeting these unserialized guns used to commit violent crimes. It is simple. If you violate federal law, you will face swift and significant penalties. The ATF is working around the clock to stop these privately made firearms from getting into the hands of people who should not have them. The new laws will require that each of these build to shoot um, privately made firearms have a, are serialized. Also, the companies that will be you know distributing or selling these build to shoot um, firearm, privately made firearms will also have to do background checks on the individual that they're selling them to. And local and state law enforcement have some help. Lugar announced two national ATF special response or SRT teams are here in Minnesota. It is not illegal to have a privately made firearm, but to use any firearm, including a privately made firearm, in a crime of violence or a prohibited person to possess them is illegal, and that's where we would be focusing at. Cities across Minnesota are seeing an increase in the number of these ghost guns using crimes, most coming from kits ordered online. The hope is the new laws and increased federal penalties will keep criminals away from ghost guns. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The rule on ghost guns imposed by the Biden administration has been challenged in court, but judges in Texas and North Dakota both declined requests to block it. Additional court challenges are pending.